Hey everyone, my name's Dan and welcome to Danalog. In front of me, I have 47 packages from eBay. Yeah, 47. I spent well over $1,000. Now, I know what I ordered, but I don't remember what's in each package. There's so many here. So it's gonna be fun opening all of these up for you all. I have a console in here, a handheld somewhere, and games from NES all the way up to some newer stuff. Now, I've done a video like this before, so if you wanna check that out, you can click the link down in the description below. And if you like stuff like this, please subscribe to the channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So I think we're gonna start with the smallest packages and work our way up to the biggest ones, starting with this tiny little cute little package. I think it's an N64 game, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's find out. Got my trusty, very dangerous knife that I will try not to cut myself with this whole time. It is an N64 game. Which one we got? We got Wave Race 64. That's a classic, a lot of fun. I was playing this on a Nintendo Switch online and I enjoyed it. So excited to have that for the N64 collection. Gonna see a good amount of N64 stuff here. Another tiny one. This one feels like an NES game. So the way I shop on eBay is I go to all of the auctions ending soonest. I have saved searches for Nintendo and PlayStation and stuff like that. So I try to jump on stuff that maybe people have missed. That's a, a pretty good deal. So I got Puznik for the NES here. Never played it before, but I love puzzle games and I love the NES. So I thought that was a no brainer. I think that one was like really super cheap. I think it was like $2 or something like that. So now we're on to the more normal size bubble mailers. I can't really tell what this is. It feels like a couple games though. Okay, so we got some N64 stuff. We have Scooby-Doo Classic Creep Capers. I uh, love Scooby-Doo. The games are great. The one on PS2 is actually a really great game. And then we have Cruise in USA, which I didn't realize the label was kind of messed up and it's a little dirty. I can clean the card up a little bit, but it's Cruise in USA. It's nothing crazy, so don't need it to be in perfect condition. Bubble mailer here. Super Nintendo. All right. Ooh, okay. So I was really looking forward to getting my hands on this game. This is Super Buster Brothers. So I've been excited to get my hands on this one. Um, I think I saw Mike and James play this on Mike and James Mondays, and it's a super fun game. It's kind of a puzzle shooter where you're at the bottom of the screen and you go across and you shoot up and bust bubbles and things that are kind of shooting down on you. This game is pretty desirable at this point. It's up to about 30 or 40 bucks, and I think I got it for 25, something like that. So good deal. I'm really excited to play this one. It looks like a lot of fun. Next, we have this really weird shaped one that's wrapped in a trash bag. So that's really cool. I have no idea what this is. It's so, oh, okay. So we got a Nintendo Switch game. We got Killer Queen Black. Looks like a cool platformer. I'm trying to get my hands on as many Switch games as I can. And I think this one was super cheap. Comes with stickers, Joy-Con skins, which is actually pretty cool. Never gonna use them. Those are just gonna live in the, uh, in the box here, but that's actually cool. It's really good artwork. Next one here. Ooh, okay, we got another Switch game. I got this for ridiculously cheap. I think I got this for like $8 or something like that. Sonic Forces. I know it's not supposed to be a great game, but I do like Sonic. I gotta get my hands on Frontiers at some point. This one also comes with Joy-Con skins. I've never gotten a game with Joy-Con skins in it before, and right now, I just got two in a row. Apparently this is the bonus edition, which maybe is just a bonus because it comes with Joy-Con skins. I have no idea, but uh, really cool. This one feels like a Switch game, I guess. <laughs> So I saw this for really, really cheap, and I do really enjoy the movie. I love horror movies. This is Hostel. It's a UMD video for the PSP. I just think it's really funny that these things exist. And I'd love to have a collection of just movies for the PSP. Not that I'll ever watch them, probably, but I just think it's such a funny concept that they did this back in the day. It's kind of something that's just lost in time and a really cool piece of handheld gaming history. So I'm gonna be buying some more UMD videos of some movies I really enjoy, so happy to have that one. So there are some actual heavy hitters in here. There's a couple games that I spent a really good amount of money on because I just really wanted them in the collection. So every time I open a package, I'm like, oh, is it? Oh, no, it's usually not because there's a lot of other stuff in here. This one also feels like an N64 game, very well packaged. I am making so much trash already. This is gonna be so much fun to clean up later. What am I complaining about? I'm opening up games. This is the best thing ever. Okay, so this one's in good shape. We have Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. Heard good things about this game, heard not so good things about this game, but it's an iconic game for the N64, so I had to have it for the collection. This feels a little bit bigger. Feels like a normal case, like a PS2 case or GameCube or something like that. Ooh, okay. This is another PSP game. This is Alien Syndrome. 
So this is a remaster of a game, I believe, on the NES. It was one of those Tengen carts. I don't have the game on the NES, but I should. I saw that this was sealed, and it was only like $10 or $15. So I was like, well, a sealed PSP game, one that looks pretty cool. It's kind of a, a 3D platformer shooter. I just thought it was cool that it's a remaster of an NES game on the PSP, and it was sealed. So super happy to have that. This is going to be a long video, guys. I hope you're ready. There's still so many more to get through. We have a PS3 game. We have God of War 3. I have God of War 1 and 2 on the PS2, and I thought I would just complete my God of War collection. I still need God of War for the PS4, the remake, and Ragnarok I haven't gotten to yet. Uh, I don't have a PS5 yet, so I'm going to wait till I get a PS5, and then I'm going to get Ragnarok. I might even play the first God of War first and then move on to Ragnarok, but this is awesome. I love the first two God of War games on the PS2, so I'm happy to have this. I'm going to be kind of sad when I get all these open. I've been like stockpiling them for, for a while, waiting to make this video, and I've been so excited about it. This looks like a... GameCube game? PS2. All right, this is really well packaged. So here we have Ratchet Deadlock for the PS2. Wow, they even put bubble wrap in the case. Oh, go, Jesus, go away. We have uh, Ratchet Deadlock. I'm trying to get every Ratchet and Clank game. I love Ratchet and Clank. The first Ratchet and Clank game is one of my favorites of all time. So this is a great addition to the collection. I'm super happy to have this. This one looks like a lot of fun. Looks like there's crazy weapons and everything. So can't wait to play that one. This one's kind of silly. This isn't anything crazy, but it's a game I wanted. This is Clubhouse Games for the DS. There's 42 games on here. I've been really enjoying the newer Clubhouse games on the Nintendo Switch. I just picked it up recently and I didn't even know this existed until I had the new Switch version. So I'm excited to see what's on here. Looks pretty simple, but I like good simple games. Just, uh, you know, Puts around with it for a couple minutes will be fun. Do not smash. Thank you so much. I hope no one's like smashing packages out there. So what's in here? It feels like a cartridge of some kind. All right, so this is Donkey Kong Country, an essential game for any Super Nintendo collection, and I did not have it. I played this way back in the day, and I did enjoy it. I'm excited to go back. I love platformers, and Donkey Kong Country is just an iconic 2D platformer, so really happy to have that. So now we got this little one. I think I know what this one is. So I actually tried to record one of these videos a couple months ago and the video and audio got all messed up and I was pretty upset about it. So I went ahead and bought more stuff on eBay to make the video and I ordered something then uh, that didn't come with a manual. So this might be a manual in here. Yes, okay, so this is the manual for Sonic Spinball. I ordered it, it was really cheap, but it didn't say in the description or anything if it was complete. So I kind of just pulled the trigger, got it and uh, it didn't have the manual. I got this, now I have a complete copy of Sonic Spinball, and this manual is like brand new, looks great. This one's blue, wow. So this was another like just super cheap impulse buy, I think it was like a 99 cent auction, but I've seen some crazy stuff about this game. This is Celebrity Deathmatch, MTV Celebrity Deathmatch. What celebrities? We have Mr. T, Anna Nicole Smith, I don't know who that is, uh, Marilyn Manson, Busta Rhymes, Carrot Top, Dennis Rodman, Tommy Lee. So it looks like a silly game, but I like a silly game. Okay, now we got a black one. So I recently got a Wii U and I'm really trying to build up a collection for the Wii U. And I saw this, this is Seal, this is Rayman Legends. I really liked Rayman Legends. I believe I played this back on the PS3 or PS4 and it was a fun game. I like Rayman, I haven't played Rayman in a long time. So I'm excited to have this in the collection. I'll probably open it up. I see no need to keep this one sealed, but okay. This looks like a Nintendo Switch game. It's another cheap game that I bought impulsively. This is Snack World The Dungeon Crawl Gold. Looks like a kind of RPG dungeon crawling game. Looks kind of cool. I just thought it was kind of funny, so I picked it up. I think it was like $8, something like that. Something super cheap. So that's cool to have in a Switch collection. Uh-oh, okay, so this is uh, this is one of the big ones. Now, I've been on a pretty big Zelda kick lately with Tears of the Kingdom on the way. That'll be out soon. I've been playing more and more Zelda games, been putting some good amount of time into Breath of the Wild, and I've been itching to play more. So I picked up the first Zelda game I ever played. This game is getting more and more pricey, like all GameCube games are. This is Wind Waker. Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker. It's in really eh, pretty good condition. No, not perfect, but I think I got this for 70, maybe 75 uh, complete. 
inbox. Let's see how the disc is. Disc is perfect. All right. Even has the little registration card and everything. I am so happy to have this in the collection. I'm really trying to work on a GameCube collection, but dang, they're expensive, especially the good games like this, especially those really iconic games. So super happy to have this. I'm going to be popping this in my Wii and playing this tonight. I freaking love this game. It's so cool. I was, I'm like filled with joy, like a kid on Christmas. This is just awesome. Okay, so we got another here. It feels like a like a jewel case. So let's see what's in here. Another absolute heavy, dude. <laughs> okay, I, so I looked in this package, all like confused because the back of this case is the firm with. Who are doc produced by Dr. Dre? Nas Escobar and Foxy Brown, A AZ and Nature presents The Firm, The Album. I didn't buy a, uh, a CD. I bought Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Now I got this for a pretty good price. I believe around 70. It goes for about a hundred complete, sometimes more, a lot of times more than that. This is the game and the manual, but it has a replacement back case with, uh, you know, these people, these musician people on the back. They do make reproduction cases for like 20 bucks or something like that. So what I might do is just get one of those. I do have the real manual, so it's nice to have. I'm not gonna be too upset having a reprinted back case on a PlayStation game, as long as it has the original manual. And this does, I love Castlevania and I've never played Symphony of the Night. I know you're probably like, how could you even say you love Castlevania if you haven't played Symphony of the Night? I hear nothing but praise for this game. People absolutely love it, and I'm so happy to have it. I am so excited to pop this in and play it. The manual's in pretty good shape. The disc is decent. The seller said it's tested and working, and I'll take his word for it. That is awesome. Symphony of the... I, I, have, Symph I have Castlevania Symphony of the Night in my collection. So this is not a heavy. This is a good game, though. This is Yoshi's Woolly World on the Wii U. Like I said, I'm working on a Wii U collection, so this is awesome to have. I've always wanted the Amiibo for uh, Yoshi's Woolly World because it's stitched. It looks like it's crocheted, which I think is really cool. This looks like a fun game. I heard it's super easy. I've never played it before, but I love Yoshi games. Yoshi is adorable. Uh, my partner Maddie loves Yoshi, so maybe we'll pop that one in the Wii U and play around with that. We have a few more bubble mailers to go. This one's like double packaged. Feels like a Super Nintendo game. This game, again, was like a 99 cent auction. Um, it's Pink Goes to Hollywood. It's a freaking Pink Panther game. I like weird stuff. I've never even seen this game in my life. So for like a dollar plus shipping, I had to have it. Okay, so this is probably the most common game on the Wii U. I think I got this for five bucks plus some shipping, which is a decent deal. It's not in perfect shape, but it's Zombie U for the Wii U. Um, it looks like a fun game. I don't, I haven't heard much about it. I don't know if it's actually a good game or not, but it looks like fun. I like shooting zombies, so this is cool. Another game. This one feels heavy. It might be an N64 game. All right, so we have Pokemon Stadium. This one is like perfect. It's in great shape. This game's awesome. I do need to get a transfer pack so I can transfer my Pokemon from red and blue and yellow and stuff and do some battling and stuff. So I'm happy to have that one. That is an essential for a N64 collection for sure. All right, another GameCube game. This is Wave Race Blue Storm. This is also complete in box. Pretty good shape. Couple stickers on the case here, but I can get those off. I really liked Wave Race 64, uh, so I assume this one is better. I haven't heard much about it, but I really like racing games, and I'm excited to have this for the GameCube collection. Another Wii U game. So this is Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden? Gaiden? Ninja? Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden 3, Razor's Edge, and this is sealed as well. Now, I've heard a lot of good things about the newer Ninja Gaiden games. Uh, I like the original ones on the NES, even though they're super difficult. This one looks like a beautiful game, and it looks like fun. I just like ninja stuff. Okay, we got this big old bubble mailer here with a smaller bubble mailer inside. Yeah, what we got? What is this? Okay. So I love the Rocky movies. They're some of my favorite movies ever. I live near Philly and uh, everything about the Rocky franchise is great. And I'm surprised I didn't have this game sooner because I actually played it back in the day. This is Rocky. It's a really cool PS2 game. You get to play as all the characters from Rocky. So if you're a Rocky fan, this is just cool to have. Um, and I think you could play as Mick in this game who is just like an old man, which I think is hilarious. I think I know what this is. I think I have an idea. I'm trying not to mess it up. Let's just open it like a normal civilized human without 
freaking knife. So these weren't from eBay. This is probably the one exception to this, but it got mixed in with all my other stuff because I didn't realize that this is what this was. But we have all labels and labels for N64 games. So these stickers just go right here. And when you have your games up on the shelf, you can see what games they are. So I, I have some games right here and I got to go through all of them to find it. Got these on Etsy. I like these because you can like peel them off, put them on the game and then see what games you still need. So it's kind of like a check checklist for, for N64 games. So this is cool. Okay, so this one's a strange shape. I have no idea what could be in this one. So we have another little thing in this. What is this? Oh, cool. All right. So got a Game Boy Color in atomic purple. This is the one I had when I was a kid. I'm so excited to have one again. So I actually bought one of these for my cousin for Christmas with Pokemon Blue. And uh, when I was wrapping it up for him and everything, I was like, you know what? I really want one of these. So I, uh, I went ahead and bought one for myself. It's in great condition. I mean, just some light scratches on the screen, but really nothing serious at all. It's got the battery cover. It just looks great, feels great. The buttons feel good. And I believe this is batteries wow nice an extra screen which is so awesome to have really nice thing for the seller to throw in i feel like this screen's fine but it's cool to have an extra game boy color screen just in case i'm gonna pop the batteries in this thing right now and check it out real quick nice okay so now i i just i want to open this one next because it's bothers me like it's not a box it's in like a shopping bag with like crappy cardboard in it like what is this dude dude it's a mountain dew box what okay so this is the, the strangest packaging i've ever seen so you have a shopping bag a mountain dew zero sugar box what do you think could be in here it's one playstation 2 game one game all right so <laughs> so the game we have is fight club now i had no idea this game even existed I saw it on eBay and I had to buy it so it looks just like a regular fighting game you don't get to play through any of the movie or anything like that it looks like just the fighting part uh, you have some some crazy bone breaking action and stuff like that but I love movies and I love movie games and I am really excited to try this one out I might make a video on this because I like the movie Fight Club a lot I actually read the book too so this is gonna be really cool to check out. Next, we have a Switch game. So like I said, I've been on a big Zelda kick and this is one of the only Zelda games I don't have on the Switch. This is the Skyward Sword HD. I played Skyward Sword when it first came out on the Wii back in the day, and it was a cool game. I heard this has some pretty cool controls that are a little bit different than the Wii version, obviously, because you have to use um, a Joy-Con and stuff. So it still has motion controls and it has button only. Really want to play this one. Uh, this is probably the next on my list for Zelda games. Actually, it's second on my list because next thing I'm playing is Wind Waker for sure. Okay, it's so the last of the bubble mailers. It feels like there's a couple things in here. Yeah, all right. See, now this is something I wish they packaged a little bit better. These are just slapped in a bubble mailer, but looks like they're in pretty good shape. I have Zelda 1 and 2 for the NES. Now I have Zelda, but I have the gray cart. I didn't have the gold cart for each, and I didn't even have the Adventures of Link. So now I have both in gold in pretty good condition. I mean, that's not bad. That's pretty good. So now on to the smaller boxes. Okay, this is a PS2 game. We have Eco. This game is really cool. Uh, made by the same people who did Shadow of the Colossus. Love Shadow of the Colossus. Really enjoyed this game back in the day as well. This is, again, an essential to have in any PS2 collection. Surprised I didn't have it already. I, I literally just had to check and make sure I didn't have it already because I love this game. Cool. I don't have it already. Good. <laughs> so I lied. This one was mixed up in all the other stuff. Little tiny package here. Feels like a Switch game. Feels like that size. It's about the size of a Switch game. Okay, so it is a Switch game. This is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Love the Need for Speed games. It's a fun racing game. This was super cheap. I think this was like eight or nine dollars. Nothing super exciting here, but definitely a cool game to have. We have another, ooh, all right. An essential GameCube game. So here we have Resident Evil 4 for the GameCube. I have it on PS2, I have it on Switch, I have it on Wii. I love Resident Evil 4, by far my favorite Resident Evil game. Now it looks like these discs are a little messed up on the top somehow. So the label on the discs are kind of messed up, uh, which isn't a really big deal at all. It looks like they're in perfectly good condition, definitely playable. But we have two discs in here. 
Really cool and really, really good shape. I think I have like almost every version of Resident Evil 4 now. I am super excited for the remake of this game. I might go through and play it again. Maybe I'll play the GameCube version this time. Let's see what we got. What the heck is this? All right, so this is Star Wars Dark Forces. I really like Star Wars games. This one looks cool. It looks pretty primitive. It actually looks a lot like Doom, and I love Doom, so really cool to have this. Next, we have Gaff Tape. Someone used Gaff Tape on their package here. We have another PS1 game. This is Vigilante 8, which is a really cool uh, kind of car combat game similar to Twisted Metal. This is like the preppy version, and then Twisted Metal is like the goth version of car combat games. I guess the PS1 era was a huge car combat kind of video game era. Played this back in the day and I really enjoyed it. I saw it for cheap on eBay and I had to have that one in the collection. This is, this one's, this one's hefty. This one's dense. It's pretty serious. Knocking stuff over. I have a good idea of what this one is. Something new for me. Something I've never bought before, but probably will be buying a lot of. So these are Nintendo Power Magazines in really pretty good shape. This is issue number or volume 36. Uh, unfortunately, this one doesn't have the spine art, which I didn't know about. Not super happy about that. Number 36, this one has the poster, which is really cool. We also have issue number 35 uh, with the WWF Super WrestleMania on the front here. And then finally, the one I wanted most from this same seller. This is Super Castlevania 4 issue number 32 or volume number 32. These all have the posters in them. Oh man, these are so cool. Okay. All right, I'll look at these later. I can literally sit here and just flick through these forever. So happy to start a Nintendo Power Collection. I've always wanted to, but it's something I never really got around to. Just looking through them is just such a blast of nostalgia. It's so cool to have these. I might do a video just going through old Nintendo Powers and looking at them once I build a little bit more of a collection. Okay, so this is another bubble mailer. I thought I was done, but I looked over there and this one, Looked like it had something in it. I'm glad I didn't miss this. Okay, so I think I know what this one is. Nice. This is Contra 4 for the DS. Now, Contra 4 is probably the best Contra game. If you're a fan of Contra and you haven't played Contra 4, just get your hands on it. It is expensive, especially for a DS game, but totally worth it. It takes the best things from the original Contra from one, two, and three and puts them together and makes it an absolute perfect game. The DS is awesome for it as well because you use both screens. So you can jump from the bottom screen up to the top screen. And I believe you can actually play the original Contra game with this too. So, so Contra 4, I, am, I cannot wait to pop that in. It's been such a long time since I played it and I, uh, I I miss it. That's such a good game. So now we're on to the boxes. All right, so this is a PS3 game. So this big box, right, for this game. Is that really necessary? So anyway, this is Ratchet & Clank Future, A Crack in Time. Now, like I said, I'm trying to get every Ratchet & Clank game, and this one is pretty cool. Actually never played this one, so I'm excited to have it, excited to check it out. It's a not for resale copy. Don't know if that is of any importance for a game like this, but cool to have. This is a bigger box. It's got a little bit of heft to it. This box smells really weird. Smell that. Smell it. it. Smells weird, right? All right, so it looks like we have five NES games here. The first one is Dick Tracy. Now, these games look like they're all in pretty good shape, and Dick Tracy actually came with the manual. Unfortunately, the manual got some, like, water damage and some grossness on it, but... That's okay, I'm not super uh, super into collecting manuals and stuff for the NES, but awesome to have. We also have Golf, uh, which is a black box game I didn't have. Next we have Starship Hector, also in really good shape, and has the manual here as well. This manual is in a little bit better condition, a little tear in the corner, but no big deal. Yeah, these smell really weird, and they all have... I gotta clean these, these smell like... They smell like piss. Okay, these are kind of grossing me out now, but we got Kid Cool, it's in pretty good condition. And then we got Win, Lose, Draw. Yeah, these games stink. These games literally smell bad. Like what, it's plastic, dude. How do you make them gross like this? But uh, I didn't have any of these games, I'm happy. Uh, I was able to find a lot of five games uh, and uh, that I didn't have. Usually I see a lot and there's like one or two games that I already have, so I kind of just avoid it. Uh, but these are really cool. Five new additions to the NES collection. Then they all smell like piss, which is really cool. All right, next box here. Okay, so this isn't a game. It's not a game, and I'm gonna leave this in the video anyway, because I really wanna talk about this with you guys. This is my favorite movie of all time on VHS. 
and I spent a good amount of money on it because for some reason, this is really hard to find. I've only seen a few of them up for sale on eBay. This one was a auction that started at, I think, $9.99. I think I ended up getting it for $35 or $40, which is actually a good deal. All the Buy It Now listings I've seen of this movie are for $100, $200, depending on condition. This is Paris, Texas. My absolute favorite movie, an absolute beautiful film. Now I do have a VHS copy of this already. Uh, my partner Maddie got me one for Christmas a couple years ago, but unfortunately didn't have the original slipcover. And I'm a sucker for these old boxes for VHS tapes. So, so this is a, a gem of my collection now. I have this movie on Blu-ray, on DVD, on Laserdisc, and now I have two copies of it on VHS. So this is so cool to have. God, I love this movie. Another box here, really light. It feels like it's empty. Okay, so this, all this, all this box, and it's just a Switch game. Okay, so after struggling with that for a long time, we have uh, Super Meat Boy. Now, I really loved this game back in the day. It's super hard, but I love 2D platformers. This is the limited run version, and it's sealed. This one only goes for like 40 bucks. I think I got it for around 30. I see a lot of copies of this going up on eBay. It's one of those limited run games that I guess wasn't very limited, because Seems like everyone is selling these right now, but I really am happy to have this in the collection. Super Meat Boy is a super fun game, and I just love getting my hands on limited run games. This is number 28. I only have a few, but always cool to add a limited run game to the collection, especially a sweet game like Super Meat Boy. This one's dense. This is this is a this is a hefty hefty little little package right here. Oh, this was <laughs> this was a very well packaged. I guess you could say. So this is a lot of PS4 games, and I don't have any of these. And I think this was only like 30 bucks for all these games. How many do we have here? We have nine and one PS3 game. So, so eight PS4 games and one PS3 game. We have Middle Earth Shadow of War. These should all be complete, yep. And these are all in great condition, it looks like. Then we have uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Uh, this is one of the Call of Duty games I haven't played. Then we have Mafia 3. Again, complete, really good condition. We have Anthem Legend of Dawn Edition. Don't know much about this game, but looks pretty cool. Looks like a mech kind of fighter game. NBA 2K18, sports game, cool. Now this is a game that everyone loves. I hear nothing but praise for this game and I never played it. This is Resident Evil 2, this is the remake. I do really wanna play this one. I haven't played any of the Resident Evil remakes. So with the Resident Evil 4 remake coming out, uh, I wanted to try this one out as well. Now we have Rayman Legends again. I have it on Wii U right there and on PS4 right here, which is pretty funny. I got the same game on just different consoles in the same video. Then we have Assassin's Creed Unity Limited Edition. Um, yeah, I don't know, Assassin's Creed is just not really my thing. And then we have Skyrim. Uh, this is the Game of the Year, not the Game of the Year edition, it just says Game of the Year on the case here. And this one has the manual and everything in really good shape. I already have this game though. Next box also feels pretty dense, feels pretty pretty substantial. So this is a lot of NES games. I believe I have none of these games, maybe four in here. Uh, but the first one is Karate Champ in really good shape. And then we have Days of Thunder, just kind of a NASCAR game, pretty good shape, a little bit appealing on the label there, but I'm not too concerned about that game. Then we have Orb 3D, which has an insane label. Look at that. You kidding me? What is going on there? And then we have The Last Starfighter, which is uh, based off of a movie, I believe. A movie I haven't seen. Looks like got some sun damage on the end there, but that's okay. Uh, really cool lot. I think this one was only like 30 bucks or something like that. Some common games, but really cool to, to grow that NES collection a little bit. And we have another box. Feels pretty heavy. Feels pretty substantial again. So another lot of games, but... Not NES this time. These are all PSP games. The first one we have is Siphon Filter Logan's Shadow. Complete in box, really great condition. These all look like they were in great shape. And I believe all of these together were $30, $40, something like that. We have Marvel Trading Card Game, which um, I'm not you know, that excited about, but cool to have. Then we have me and my Katamari. Now, I love Katamari. I love the Katamari on PS2. There is a new remake remaster coming out for the Switch. Then we have Brothers in Arms D-Day. Cool uh, World War II game, I believe. Then we have MLB The Show 09. Now, I really like MLB games. I'm a huge baseball fan. I love baseball. I grew up playing the show and the 2K games back when they existed. And then we have Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. Now, this looks like a cool one. Never got super into the Metal Gear franchise, but I really do 
uh, like the games that I've played. So really cool to add a couple more of those to the collection. So we're approaching the end. We have this box and then one more and that'll be it. We have the final NES lot here. So the NES is probably my favorite console to collect for. I am over a hundred now. And with these, I'll probably hit like 130, 140, something like that. We have Dirty Harry in really great shape. I think it's so funny that they made Dirty Harry into an NES game. Then we have another black box game, Hogan's Alley. These don't smell like piss and they're in really good shape. Michael Andretti's World Cup. And then the final NES game here, we have Freedom Force, another just absolutely ridiculous label. Look at that. Guy's holding a gun that's like bigger than his freaking head. This. So here we have it, the last box, the one I was saving for last. I am so excited about this one. So this one looks like it's very well packaged, which I'm super happy about. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, that is, I gotta save this bubble wrap. This is like a whole roll. This is a Nintendo GameCube complete in box. With this, I have every single Nintendo console complete in box now. It's a huge goal of mine since I started collecting again and I finally did it. So I have the NES, Super Nintendo, the N64, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, and Switch all complete in box. Uh, I'm glad I got the black one. This box is in really good shape. It's a little tear there, but that's okay. Let's take a look at the console and everything. All right, so here's the controller. Oh, I love this controller. It just feels so good. Listen to this. Come on, come on, it's like the best controller ever. I have the power supply. We have the manual in its original little bag in perfect condition. And then here's the console. It's got all the little doors on the bottom. It's in really good shape. I haven't had a GameCube in years. Oh man, I did it. I have every single freaking Nintendo console complete in box. Let's go. All right, so there we have it. Over $1,000 worth of stuff from eBay, and I'm super happy. Everything showed up in really good condition, except for the games that smell like piss. The GameCube is a huge milestone for me. I can't believe I have all the Nintendo consoles complete in box. So if you like the video, please click that thumbs up. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of all this stuff. If you see something in here that you think is exceptional and really cool, just let me know. If you like these kind of videos, let me know down in the comments below. I'll definitely do more of these. I like buying stuff on eBay, so I'd love to make more of these videos. And finally, please subscribe to the channel. Helps out a ton. We've been growing so much, and I really appreciate all the love and support from all of you guys. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon. Uh, made a... Quite a mess. Oh my god.